Hi everyone and welcome to Nina Sofra. Today I want to show you how to make Egyptian date cookies. They're actually one of my all-time favorite cookies. They're crunchy, not too sweet, easy to make, perfect with coffee or tea. You can make quite a batch because they can last for a long time if you can stop yourself from eating it. And they make a wonderful gift. Add in already sifted flour the salt and then put it in your kitchen machine. Then add the yeast mixture inside. I let it rise before 10 minutes in the half of the milk prepared for this recipe. Uh, the milk you put the yeast in must be warm. Add also the other half of the milk, sugar, cornstarch, baking powder, melted butter, vanilla sugar, and roasted sesame. Turn on your kitchen machine and knead it for three to five minutes or until it all becomes well combined. After it's well kneaded, the dough should be very soft but manageable. And don't let it bother you, it is exactly as it's supposed to be. Put it in a bowl, cover it with a plastic wrap and let it rise somewhere warm for one hour. While it's rising, take the date paste and the butter and mix it with your fingers until butter is softened, actually melted and joined with the paste to become one firm mixture. Later you will divide it in two parts. After the dough has risen, knead it for a while and then divide it in two parts. Take two sheets of baking paper, put one half of the date mixture in between and roll it very thin in the shape of big rectangle. The date mixture is very soft so you'll be able to roll it very easy. I even used my son's roller as it was easier to roll it that way and you can even do it with your fingers only as it's so soft. When you roll it, put it aside and start rolling the dough. It is still soft and feel free to flour it a bit to roll it easier. Roll it also very thin but try to match the shape of the date mixture rectangle. Now it's time to put the date mixture sheet over the dough. Peel off one baking paper then take the other paper with the date mixture, flip it and place it over the rolled dough. Now slowly peel it off. It might break but don't bother. Just press it back again towards the dough and do it until it's well glued. Also, you can still stretch it with your fingers if you feel that somewhere is still a bit thick. And then start rolling it evenly until you come to an end and form a long and firm roll. The ends feel free to pinch with your fingers and join them with the rest of the dough. Then roll to stretch it a little bit more. Then take the roll and press it with your fingers to flatten it a bit. And also prepare one beaten egg in a bowl and sesame in the other bowl. Then take the sharp knife and start cutting the roll into pieces one and a half centimeter wide. Then dip the upper part in the egg wash and into the sesame and put it on the baking tray. Repeat the procedure until you finish all the roll and also do the same with the rest of the dough and date mixture. Then put it in the preheated oven on 180 degrees for 15 minutes or until they become golden brown. Let them cool off and serve them with a nice cup of tea or coffee and enjoy! Thank you for watching my video of Egyptian date cookies and if you liked it please subscribe and press the little bell to be notified of all my new video recipes. Sofra Haneya, bon appetit!